Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share yet another video about the Samsung Galaxy Fold. Now, I've already released my full review on this, and if you've watched it, you know where I stand. This is a revolutionary product that will be emulated, will be copied, uh, because here we are sitting in 2019 with a 7.3-inch screen that can simply be closed up and taken around in a candy bar form factor, and that is, you know, something that speaks for itself. It's rather amazing. And then if you want to content consume to your heart's content, go for it. I mean, here I'm on YouTube TV. If I wanted to watch anything here, very easy to do, you know, jump into anything and you've got it. Isn't that a, a cute little side by side? So very cool. And of course, turn it this way. So we get it into landscape, make that full screen. I don't care about the skins firing uh, Jay Gruden, but and this isn't necessarily the best example, but this is a little content consumption monster. And it's just amazing to have this in your hand uh, and be able to do this at any time that you, you choose. Uh, you cannot do this with, with any other phone out there. Uh, it's just not possible. And yes, things are coming. But today's video is really about um, what we saw happened today, which is the iFixit teardown of this device. And it's significant because the teardown, there you can see. Now, if I was dealing with different content, a movie or something uh, to that effect, we'd get a, a more of a screen fill than what we're getting here. Um, wouldn't completely necessarily fill the frame, but back to what I was discussing. So the, the iFixit teardown is all about this phone's durability. And they did a teardown back in April when it was supposed to launch and you know revealed the innards. The phone got heavier. Samsung tried to address some manufacturing issues, some defects, um, and one of them was the interior screen protection. The other one was uh, dealing with debris getting inside. Now, unfortunately, it appears that when it comes to debris getting in, it still has the same issues for the most part that existed back uh, in April, it's improved based on what I saw, but it's still susceptible on the hinge. That is the point of entry uh, that Samsung did their best to make sure you're not going to have anything enter and get behind the plastic. Uh, but this is the reason I, I would suggest you have insurance on this phone. I mean, after all, it is a $2,000 device. How many $2,000 devices do you carry around on a regular basis? So if this is the device you're carrying with you every day, insure it. This way, you don't have to sweat it. You're not going to be wondering, worrying. I mean, it'll still be on your mind, obviously, but you know you've got a plastic substrate here, and there's only one way to protect it. So, you can't put a screen protector on it. I don't care what they're selling on eBay. Don't bother with it. I know this device is still sold out everywhere. Trust me, I wish I was keeping it, uh, but if you saw my previous coverage, you know why I'm not. It's not because it's not the best phone on the market. It's simply because Samsung made, made me an offer with the Note 10 and Tab S6, I couldn't refuse. It's the Note 10 Plus, by the way. I would not have bothered with the regular Note 10. Then I would have absolutely picked this up in a heartbeat. So the teardown revealed that we have two phones here, which we knew already, with a ribbon cable connecting this foldable screen to batteries. And as I said, that dust can get behind this. whoop de doo We knew that already. And I find it really interesting that most reviewers uh, from major outlets are still treating this like, you know, purchase at your own risk. I don't get it. If you have insurance, um, and I'm not saying that everyone should buy insurance and not take care of the phone and let it break, but if you have insurance, isn't this how you would treat every phone? I mean, I don't get these at your own risk reviews because anything you'd be purchasing as a daily driver, as your smartphone and carrying, you're either one of those people that insure that device because you tend to break it or you are one of those people that doesn't break your phone and maybe has only it's happened once in a freak accident or twice in your life, let's say of 10 years of using smartphones. I'll go back to the beginning of the iPhone. Uh, so why on earth would you not have insurance here? So I really don't get these reviews where they're saying like, use at your own risk, buy at your own risk. Stupid, it doesn't, I don't really get it. Um, that applies to every phone. Yes, this is more fragile than any other phone, but it has something that no other phone has. That's why. It's not because it was just made poorly or the engineering was garbage. Now, they initially did have some issues, but they were addressed. 
and that's why it's at market. That's why I've had zero issues with it, and I haven't really seen anyone that has. Now, that doesn't mean there won't be. I mean, CNET did their test with the machine opening and closing, opening and closing. The one thing I can tell you is that with all the opening and closing that it went through, it was pretty rough. So even though it only made it to 119,000 folds in change, and then it broke, the uh, spine ended up breaking and created an issue with the screen, because that is how it's getting its information, right? It's, it's all in that spine. I saw that machine. I saw how it was beating the crap out of the phone on the fold. And I can tell you right now, when I fold it, when I first did my first video, people were you know, saying to me, don't do this. Don't use the screen to fold it. Now you can do that. It's not smart to do, but you can do it. The screen doesn't get damaged. Over time, it might get damaged. Or if you put too much pressure, you certainly could damage it. Samsung makes that abundantly clear. But what I'm getting at here is, is that when I close the phone like this, it is not comparable to that machine that Square Trade and CNET used going. I mean, oh, <laughs> didn't break. But you know what I'm getting at. That's craziness. Um, what they did there is not just testing it, but I mean, it's, it's beating on the fold. So I'm not going to simulate that again. I did it once at my own risk, right? Because <laughs> I am returning this, unfortunately. But... The news here is, is that that teardown just confirms that like every other device, it's hard to repair. I mean, I love it when they're like, oh, this is easy to repair. I'm not saying that people don't get their phones repaired. You can, of course. But most times when you destroy it, if you have insurance, you don't go get it repaired. You get a replacement. If you don't have insurance, that's where repairing comes into play. And with a phone like this, I just can't imagine someone not having insurance or, of course, taking out Samsung's $150 basically replacement offer through the end of this year. So while the teardown is interesting and it reveals that they made some improvements that we already knew about, but we didn't see physically until I fix it, rip the, the, you know, the phone apart. At the end of the day, the point is still the same, which is that that fold test showed it's, it's pretty decent, 119,000 folds that were not the type of folds a human being would do with this phone. So that's pretty good. I mean, it's not the 200,000 number, but it's not Samsung's gear. I mean, if Samsung tested it with that exact machine, I'd be surprised. I'm not saying there are a lot of machines out there, robotic machines to, to make the thing fold. It might be exactly the same. Samsung may not have torqued it up the way CNET did because CNET, I simulated, again, it was like a, a smacking rather than a folding. So I think this thing's pretty sturdy. Am I going to be responsible for what you buy? No, that applies to every single thing that I review, right? I give impressions, talk about my experience. This thing seems rugged. It seems well-made. Is the internal display more fragile than any other uh, phone out there? Yeah, it's also the only one of its kind. So with that in mind, try to treat your fold with care. Don't close it the way CNET's robot or Square Trade's robot does, please, because that robot is just ridiculous. And I probably should have said this right at the top of the video. Any questions or comments, you know what to do. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.